Hello everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners here. We are continuing with the Art Project app. It's been uh, a few days since I actually did any work on it, so um, hopefully it will seem seamless. But this is quite normal that that you will dip in and out of your apps and it's actually quite important to to know how to to get back into them and back into the uh, the swing of things so the first thing i've done i've gone onto the um office um, office.com uh, page uh, i am going to fire up power apps and i am also going to uh, move on to the art project app and just remind ourselves of where we were so I'm gonna go to there's the events there this is something I was doing um, yesterday have a little mess around so I will edit that on the web and it'll do its usual thing where it uh, fires itself up so the plan today is to create a gallery into which the photos that we have taken can sit now the photos that we've taken are only at a header level so we effectively have one main photo for the project the plan is to have multiple um multiple photos for the project so what happens here is if we go to review my project i think it does navigate us i'll have a quick check what is it going to do? Navigate uh, to the screen all projects and then fade. Great. Um, it'll actually take it to a screen that has absolutely nothing in it. Um, and so I'll just demonstrate that. So here we go. View my projects. Uh, screen with nothing in it. That's because we haven't put anything there. So I am going to move on to this. So the only thing there, curiously, it does say that there's an image. Um, okay but I don't even want that so I'm going to delete that item there and I am going to start adding some bits and pieces in here <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the insert pane uh, go to the gallery and I am going to do a vertical gallery here and I think on this occasion let's see now um, yeah, I think I will. I will. I will kind of go kind of full screen on this. Um, we'll 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 see about that. I'll, let's let's not go full screen um, because I think it might make for a better user experience. Now, at the moment, um, if we click on, if you click on here, this is not where we want to be at the moment. We want to click on either two, three, or four, and what we need to do is to tell it the data set that we are looking to put in here so i'm going to click on this item here and let's see the data sets that we've got available to us well we've got the project header is available to us so i'm going to click on that and that because that's where we did actually put some uh, data uh, in the previous session so i'm going to go click on project header and this thing will kind of recreate itself somewhat now if I click on this item here it's trying to take in a sample image whereas we would like it to actually I'm not even going to use this because um, I'm just going to start programming it so let's just check that we've actually got it does think it's looking at the project header and what I'm going to do here is um, at the moment the fields that are in are just nonsense fields um, well it's it's managed to have a stab at this particular field but all I'm going to do is going to change it so it's this item um, being the item that we're on at the moment and we are going to put in the um, let's call it the project name it's quite important and I'll delete this thing don't know how that went in there so we're going to put in the project name and hopefully that's just going to go back and work out some project names it's entirely possible it's got nothing in there at all um interestingly enough um we can well that's nice this won't be a problem i'll just press start new session it's just not the first time it's happened so be interesting just to see how much we have or haven't lost um we haven't actually done very much work at all but this is uh normal behavior I'm going to pause the video while it wakes itself up. 
So just moving on to this um, Power Apps PC, we can see it was modified one a minute ago, so I won't have lost very much. I'm going to click on that. I'm also going to do a quick pause. Yeah, it's it's got itself um, very upset um, because it thinks we're in there at the moment, but that's fine. I'm going to override that, um, and I'm going to pause it so you don't have to watch all this. Oh, actually, it's, it seems to be loading pretty quick at the moment, so I will let it do its thing. Okay, so it took a few seconds longer. Uh, I always jump onto the play button, go to review my project. That takes me to the screen here that's of use to me. What we'll actually find is that um, that some of the earlier ones haven't actually been that well populated. So yeah, and we we missed out on some some lines here. So we were in the middle of instead of it being the final project image. Um, we were going to do um we we're going to do i think it's project name project brief i'm not interested in that i just want to do the project name it's pretty well it because all i really want is that and the um the project image and um, this item dot project so we should be able to get the image in here. This is the fun bit, actually. Ta-da! So this is pretty cool, actually. So looking at this, we can see the first few of them when we did a setup, uh, we didn't actually put any image in at all. Um, and the last one, we did put an image in. And, uh, and hey presto, uh, that worked. So um, because it's been a few days, I can't actually remember the fields that we were um, using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on, no, that's not going to work. Uh, I'm going to click on this item here. Um, I normally use control C and control V to copy and paste, but you can actually go down here and do copy and then paste. And you'll get another field in. <clears throat> and then the way to move that on to being a field that you actually want is to just delete a few items and then go down to the fields that you know that are available to you uh, we will go on to we've got project name project brief that'll do um okay see i would be tempted to keep this one really really tight and um, we could we could get down to a you know we could actually do something like make this quite big move across here get the image um Let's have a quick look down here, get the image there. I'm going to jump across a little bit, but actually, excuse me, uh, actually just go on to there, going to move that image up here. It's really not helping, you can't actually see it. Uh, and I'm going to move that title across here and then, then move that across here and yeah we just gradually move it across and the, the the idea with this is because it's a uh, an ipad app then what i'm thinking is that we um we can get all the all the waffle to do with the project um let's have a quick look down here title one don't even know what title one is yeah they this is normal behavior so i'm going to delete this one here uh, delete and click on this one here it's usually the position it gets upset with i don't even want the subtitle so i'm going to press delete on that and test project so we're now looking at something a little bit more interesting um but what i'm going to do is i am going to give us some more details so i'm going to make this really diddy Actually, I can't do it because I'm being silly. Um, I'm going to make this really small. So we get a few more projects in um, on a single line. So I'm just dragging things around the place um, and then move this up here. This is the sort of thing you could spend absolutely forever on. Um, and the other thing I am going to do is uh, it's quite nice to have a border on these things. So I'm just going to click on the... Um, on the gallery itself, we're going to go right down to the bottom here, and I am going to go on to the 
see if you get a border you can have a border uh, but if it's got no thickness to it then um, then you won't see anything so if I click off that then I do now have a border that's great um, maybe uh, maybe add a, um, a sort of title line going in there so uh, here we go so go insert uh, we'll go with a label and it's oh that was a mistake so undo that because what I want to do is I'm just going to click on this white space here. Oh, that's fun. Um, and go a label. And we're going to go all the way across. And it's always good. It's always good to have a you know some kind of you know headline something or other. Uh, and I am going to go with uh, the put the fill. Let's just go with black for the moment because we can put any color in black. Um, and we're going to go with color, oops, color, uh, and we're going to go with white. Now, what that means is the text color is white, and then I'm going to put text, and I am going to inside these bits here, you know, my art projects. I can, and if I go with size, I can go pump that up to, let's say, 20. No, 30. Uh, that's a bit better. And then I'm going to go to home and I am going to center this. Nice, that's okay. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I am going to jump in with a little um, a little icon to take us back to the home. Uh, so just in case we need to create a new item or anything like that. So home, home, right, lovely. So where's that gone? Over here. All the way across here that's great I'll probably align the the color a bit better so go home and put the on select property on select property as go now now navigate gate uh, where are we going to go to s edge we want to get to the landing page so SCR this is where the IntelliSense works nicely I'm so dull that I'm called it landing I'm sure I've called it landing page that's shocking um let's just jump up to the top oh it's just called landing page which is poor on my accounts I don't like to call it that I like to call it SCR that's just how I do it so I am gonna just jump in and saves me jumping around the screens and go on to there and now I'm going to put it's SCR L and I've got my landing page click that and then I put fade and then close the brackets that over to there hit the play button and you can jump between the two screens quite easily so that bit of it works so we've created a a gallery a small gallery and in the next uh, in the next session uh, I will show you how to create a form which has which uses this item and displays the the data within it so that we can build out the rest of the solution. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, thumbs up, all those sorts of things if it's been of use to you. Thanks very much, and see you next time.